So today I wanted to offer some pro tips for handling family time across the holidays. Uh, so many of us are going to be spending time with our families, perhaps a bit more than usual. Um, and often there are underlying tensions within the family. Um, so whether those tensions come from personality clashes, um, from Brexit polarity, um, or perhaps from historical rifts in the family or disputes, um, it's important to think about how we're going to enter into those environments, how we can hold ourselves. So here's three tips just to help you think about it across the season. So the first one is to lead with wisdom. And what I mean by that is holding your maturity and your current set of emotional intelligence skills um, as you go into these conversations. We've all had the experience of going into relationships where it feels like people who have known us for a very long time are holding us in a vibration that we used to be in. So maybe holding us in our teenage identity in our early twenties identity and a younger identity. And of course, as we grow and move on and do our own things in the world, um, we change, but we can feel ourselves regressing, regressing into those little um, ways of communicating, those arguments that feel so familiar, perhaps even comforting in some ways. Um, and so this tip is all about holding your shape, holding your shape as you are with your wisdom, with your emotional intelligence, remembering who you are as you go into those conversations and perhaps seeing if you might even surprise some people uh, as you speak and act from that place. Tip two uh, is to be a good shepherd. So being a good shepherd is thinking about shepherding the conversations and also looking out for people who are around you during this time who might be struggling. Um, so the first part of that, so um, as things move towards tense subjects, um, just keeping an eye on the energy of how it's going, um, if it feels like a safe engagement, if everyone's okay within it, um, and where necessary, um, just moving things on to other topics, moving things on to other energies, even on the same topic, but entering in with a different way of thinking about it, a different point of view, uh, a way of holding things in a wider lens. Um, and it's quite an quite a interesting challenge to try and do that, particularly where we know where battle lines might be drawn in different families um, and where the problems might arise to see if we can bring something different that actually brings a bit more harmony um, to the overall situation. And the second part, yeah, keeping an eye on people um, who might be struggling. And sometimes people's signs of struggling are not feeling or looking vulnerable or weak. The signs of them struggling is them attacking or becoming more aggressive. Um, mm -hmm. So just notice, notice what's happening for people um, and see if you can be a bit of an anchor for the peacefulness of the season. Third tip is to look for the good in others. Um, so this is a lovely kind of mindfulness practice um, that, that we teach um, on mindfulness courses. Um, and it's an orientation towards the people in your lives, um, which allows you to really look at a deeper level, to notice the heart of the person, um, to notice the vibration beyond the surface and to hold them in their highest presence. Um, so in the same way that we might feel drawn by certain people into old patterns, we might also be the ones that are drawing people into those old patterns as well. Um, so if, see if we can open uh, to, to the wider lens of seeing the people in our lives, seeing the people that we're going to be spending time with through the holidays um, in their more expansive sense of self. Um, and let me know how it goes. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season uh, and thanks for watching the video.